Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Portrait Drawing Lesson. As you can see here, I'm using a charcoal stick to draw different tones in this portrait. I'm trying to place these shapes in spots together like pieces of a puzzle. Great, that's the first of 10 tips that are being referred to. So remember, make sure the axes are parallel or convergent. Uh, okay, here I'm trying to divide the background with these dark modes and dark tones. And I'm trying to uh, determine the borderline of portrait with these darker tones. Okay, here is another point. Draw the forehead in a way that it appears spherical. And I'm going to tell you that not just the forehead, but every part of a portrait is like this and it should be uh, drawn and should be considered like it's spherical and curved. Well, always compare the thickness of the hair with the height of the portrait. Okay, this part is kind of important and I do recommend you to take care about that, especially the distance between the two eyes and two eyebrows. And I recommend you to determine this part and then afterward you take care about drawing eyes. And also I can say that this triangular shape is often seen in uh, mid-tone degrees. Uh, okay, another thing I can add related to the latest tip that we have learned is that just we can use these, uh, you know, vertical and horizontal line everywhere, always uh, to just compare, compare different um, uh, shapes and important forms uh, together. Another thing to say about this tip is when you are watching it two eyes uh, simultaneously uh, and two eyes together are uh, visible, this triangle should be the same in both eyes and should not be different. When you are dividing these two parts, do this in the most simple way.
Okay, little by little, as you can see, I am developing the darker parts. Okay guys, here I am trying to teach you the structure of ear and this is a short video that I have made for you and just try to divide the structure of ear into four parts. Here we are. Okay guys, it was the last tip that I have mentioned before and I hope you uh, find these tips useful through your uh, learning process. If you had any question from me, uh, of course I do recommend you to ask it in the comment section and uh, I do invite you to watch this uh, video until the end and witness the finishing process.